हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्टली व्हाट इज सीवेज सीवेज इज दैट वाटर व्हिच इज रिलीज फ्रॉम हाउस होल्ड्स इट मेनली कंटेन्स ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटा सीवेज इज कैरीड आउट बाय सीवरेज सिस्टम एंड दिस सीवेज इट इज फुल ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड माइक्रोब्स मेनी ऑफ द माइक्रोब्स दे आर पैथोजेनिक दैट इज वाई वी कैन नॉट रिलीज दिस सीवेज डायरेक्टली इन टू वॉटर बॉडीज ओके बिफोर देयर डिस्पोजल वी ट्रीट सीवेज दिस ट्रीटमेंट इट इज कैरीड आउट बाय हटीरियोट्रॉपिक माइक्रोब्स एंड इट इज uh carried out in three stages the first one is the primary stage second secondary and tertiary treatment firstly primary treatment it is a physical process and it involves removal of large and small particles mainly by filtration and sedimentation floating debris in this sewage it is removed by sequential filtration then the other process is sedimentation soil and small particles they are removed by sedimentation the solid matter that settles down is known as primary sludge and the supernatant means the water which is above this primary sludge is known as primary effluent primary effluent it is then is transferred for secondary treatment secondary treatment is the biological treatment because this sewage it is treated with living organisms or you can say bacteria so this primary effluent it is passed through into large aeration tanks where it is constantly agitated so that the air it can mix with this uh, primary effluent aeration tanks they show a large growth of heterotrophic microbes and these heterotrophic microbes they form flocks flocks are basically an association of bacteria and fungi and they form a mesh like structure these microbes which are present in the form of flocks they consume a large amount of organic matter this significantly reduces bod that is biochemical oxygen demand of the effluent BOD are biological oxygen demand it is that amount of oxygen which is required by the microbes to break down organic matter the BOD test it is a measure of the rate of uptake of oxygen by microbes in a sample of water thus indirectly BOD is the measure of organic matter the greater the bod of a water more is the pollution potential this sewage water it is treated till the time the bod is reduced the sediment which remains or settles at the ground level is known as activated sludge a small amount of activated sludge it is pumped back into the aeration tank where it acts as an inoculum the remaining major part of sludge it is pumped back into large tank uh, which are known as anaerobic sludge digesters in anaerobic sludge digesters anaerobic methogenic bacteria they digest the bacteria and fungi which is present in the sludge and during this digestion bacteria which is um, methanogenic bacteria they produce a mixture of gases such as methane hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide these gases 
are actually biogas which are used at the households as a source of energy the effluent from the settling tank of the secondary treatment plant is generally released in water bodies like rivers and streams but if same water can be used for households so before usage it has to undergo tertiary treatment in tertiary treatment the same water it is treated with chlorine gas ozone gas and uv rays or you or reverse osmosis is also performed so that ddt pesticides and some other pathogens they can be removed from this water then this water can be used for domestic purpose thank you for listening to this lecture if you have any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com